All right, so this is the Hellwig helper spring kit. And I had this kit for my previous Frontier, which was several years ago. I mean, it's been a long time since I had that truck, seven or eight years probably. And when I got rid of that truck, I took these off and kept them and they've just been sitting in the barn for years. Never thought that I would end up being able to use them again because the sizing on them is designed for a mid-sized truck and I haven't had a mid-sized truck that had leaf springs since then. You know, the Jeep Gladiators had the coil spring set up. So here we are all these years later and believe it or not, I actually have found a, uh, a use for these. It looks like that they're probably going to work okay on the uh, the new Gen 3 truck. So the way that this works, you know, I've jacked the truck up, I've got the wheel off. Uh, the instructions don't say to take the wheel off, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, basically, this is how you do it. You just lay this helper spring in here. You're going to put the clamp. You got uh, one of these U clamps on the front and the rear. You're going to clamp the front of it down really tight. And then you're going to clamp the rear of it down a little bit more loosely because this is where your adjustment is going to be back here to provide your spring helping tension. Um, so you can adjust that a little tighter if you want a little bit more support, a little looser if you want a little less support. The instructions tell you not to go beyond two inches from this uh, position right here. So when you lay the spring on there, you can go a maximum of two inches from where it sits as you see it right now. So um, looks like two inches would put it almost touching the spring. So you wouldn't want to do that anyway. Um, so anyway, obviously one thing you're going to have to do is remove this. You can see that from the factory, they have a retainer bar on there and you're going to want a five millimeter uh, Allen socket to uh, run this bolt out and remove this temporarily. We might be able to put it back. I'm not sure yet, uh, but then we'll be able to lay the spring in there and clamp it down. And this should give me a little bit more load carrying support. I noticed the other day that I needed a little bit more on this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on here since I already had the kit and we'll see how it works. All right, so now that I've got everything loosely bolted up, you can see I've got the uh, front one. I still need to tighten it down all the way. And then the rear one is barely going to clear uh, this bracket, this uh, retainer that they have on the leaf spring pack back here. But it looks like it's going to work. It's going to be close, but it looks like it's going to work. I don't think we're going to be able to put this retainer bar back in because with this additional spring in here, the pack is just too thick at this point, but I also don't think that it's necessarily needed. Uh, you can see that this vertical piece here is still going to prevent the leaves from getting out of whack. So I don't think that it's really needed. And with this top plate here clamped front and rear, it's not going to let the leaf pack come apart either. So I don't think it's necessary to put that back in. So all I gotta do now is tighten this one down, adjust the spring tension where I want it on the rear, and then I'll go do the other side. And then when I get it done, we'll hook the utility trailer up uh, with a load of scrap that I gotta take to the scrap yard today. And uh, we'll see if the uh, truck feels any differently. Hopefully it will uh, handle the load with a little bit less. I'm not so much worried about sag, uh, but I'm just trying to reduce that bounciness and that feeling um, that the truck needs a little bit of help back here. So we'll see if this uh, does the trick. The other thing that I will mention is that the kit does come with enough nuts that you can double nut these and see you can you can double nut both of them front and rear and you want to make sure that you do that because obviously your suspension is going to be bouncing around and having a lot of forces applied to it out on the road. So if you double nut this, it'll prevent it from coming loose on you, which you don't want. All right, so I finally got this job done. Now, I'm pretty happy with the way that I have it set up here. You can see how much space I've got between the back of the Hellwig helper spring and the factory spring pack. And at that setting right there, I took some measurements and it lifted the rear of the truck exactly one quarter inch. Now, I apologize because the lighting in this garage right now is terrible. Uh, but anyway, if you set these a little bit stronger, if you cranked those rear ones down and tightened it up, you would probably get a total of about a half inch of lift out of it. 
I've got them fairly snug, but not real tight because I want the ride quality to still be good going down the highway and down these county roads I live on. Don't want a really rough ride, you know, but this way when I do load the truck up, it'll help support the weight better and it'll make the truck feel a little less wallowy. So quarter inch of lift, not bad. I'm going to level the front of the truck anyway, so that'll be just fine. And uh, like I said, this, this should work out pretty good. And I had them laying around, so why not use them? Originally, I was going to burn that couch, but I got to take a load of scrap out here to the uh, scrap yard or the, the county dump, I guess I should say. So I might as well take the couch and just dump it with the rest of my trash. I've been cleaning out the barn lately because I'm trying to make room to put the Challenger in the barn so I can park the Frontier in the garage. We've been having some hailstorms around this area lately and I don't want to get either one of my vehicles beaten up by hail so this way I can get them both under roof which is nice so but yeah I've been cleaning the barn out trying to make space and a lot of this stuff that doesn't get used has to go so the other day I changed the oil on this tractor too I've been trying to do that every summer change the oil and the filter clean out the air filter I need to do the fuel filter, but haven't gotten around to it yet. I would recommend buying an oil filter or any filters that you want, really, and have them on hand because I've found that some of these filters are kind of hard to get. Some of them are on back order, and you just never know how long it's going to take to get a filter to service your tractor anymore. So, anyway, got that done for the year, so tractor should be in uh, pretty good shape got 117 hours on her now still doing great did another regen the other day but only lasted a few minutes and they were then we were back working again there's my trailer load of trash I'm gonna try and set this couch on here gently not good moving my trailer <laughs> there we go perfect I tell you what these compact tractors I mean they really are useful for just about everything around the house so yeah let me strap this stuff down and we'll head up to the dump and get that loaded unloaded I mean and got to get my trailer free so I can use it to haul my lawn equipment anyway so I'm down here on the gravel part of the road believe it or not this is a county roadway it's just never been paved <laughs> I told you we live in a rural area but anyway this road is really rough a lot of potholes in it as you can imagine there's a bad one right there I'm going around the bad ones uh, if I can but you know, this is a good uh, example, a good uh, way to tell how the truck is responding now that it's got the Hellwig springs on it, the helper springs. And I can already tell you the rod quality is still really good the way I have them set, but I can tell that it's more controlled now when I hit a big pothole or back there when I hit that bridge expansion joint or whatever the case might be. The load is a lot more controlled. It doesn't bounce around as much. Um, before I put these on, honestly, with this 12-foot utility trailer loaded down with landscaping equipment, 
it almost felt like the suspension was maxed out i mean it, it kind of felt like the truck was starting to get a little overwhelmed it handled it fine but it just didn't feel real good to me and uh, of course these trucks are set up to where they don't have a lot of suspension travel anyway you've only got a, about two or three inches before the bump stops hit back there anyway so i felt like it did need a little bit of assistance um, again it's going to be fine but these helper springs do make it better um, any improvement is good right so i, I really feel like when i'm hauling and towing it's going to do a better job now and uh, i don't think the hellwig kit is very expensive so it might be something you guys want to look into. Uh, I think it's going to make this Frontier a much better uh, towing and, you know, useful truck for me. So I'm going to head on down the road here, get this load dumped, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. If you got questions about these Hellwig helper springs, post them below and let me know. Thanks for watching.